Chapter 11 And Israel stayed in Shittim, and the people began to commit whoredoms with the daughters of Moab. And they called the people unto the sacrifices of their gods. And the people did eat and bowed down to their gods. And Israel joined himself unto Baal Peor, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take all the heads of the people, and hang them up before the Lord against the sun, that the fierce anger of the Lord may be turned away from Israel. And Moses said unto the judges of Israel, Slay every one his men that were joined unto Baal Peor. And behold, one of the children of Israel came and brought unto his brethren a Midianitish woman, in the sight of Moses, and in the sight of all the congregation of the children of Israel who were weeping before the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And when Phinehas the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, saw it, he rose up from among the congregation, and took a javelin in his hand, and he went after the man of Israel into the tent, and thrust both of them through, the man of Israel and the woman through her belly. So the plague was stopped among the children of Israel. And those that died in the plague were twenty-four thousand. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Phinehas the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, has turned my wrath away from the children of Israel while he was zealous for my sake among them, that I consumed not the children of Israel in my jealousy. Wherefore, say, Behold, I give unto him my covenant of peace. And he shall have it, and his seed after him, even the covenant of an everlasting priesthood, because he was zealous for his God and made an atonement for the children of Israel. Now the name of the Israelite that was slain, even that was slain with the Midianitish woman, was Zimri the son of Salu, a prince of a chief house among the Simonites. And the name of the Midianitish woman that was slain was Cosby the daughter of Zur, he was hid over a people, and of a chief house in Midian. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Vex the Midianites and smite them, for they vex you with their wiles, with which they have beguiled you in the matter of Peor, and in the matter of Cosby, the daughter of a prince of Midian, their sister who was slain in the day of the plague, for Peor's sake. And it came to pass after the plague that the Lord spoke unto Moses and unto Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, saying, Take the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel, from twenty years old and upward, throughout their father's house, all that are able to go to war in Israel. And Moses and Eleazar the priest spoke with them in the plains of Moab by Jordan, near Jericho, saying, Take the sum of the people, from twenty years old and upward, as the Lord commanded Moses and the children of Israel who went forth out of the land of Egypt. Reuben, the eldest son of Israel, the children of Reuben, Hanuk, of whom comes the family of the Hanukites, of Palu, the family of the Paluites, of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, of Carmi, the family of the Carmites. These are the families of the Reubenites, and they that were numbered of them were 43,730. And the sons of Palu, Eliab, and the sons of Eliab, Nemuel, and Dathan, and Abram. This is that Dathan and Abram who were famous in the congregation, who quarreled against Moses and against Aaron in the company of Korah when they quarreled against the Lord. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up together with Korah when that company died, when the fire devoured two hundred fifty men, and they became a sign. Notwithstanding, the children of Korah died not. The sons of Simeon after their families, of Jemuel, the family of the Jemuelites, of Jemin, the family of the Jamanites, of Jachin, the family of the Jaconites, of Zerah, the family of the Zerahites, of Shal, the family of the Shalites. These are the families of the Simonites, 22,200. The children of Gad after their families, of Zephon, the family of the Zephonites, of Haggai, the family of the Haggites, of Shuni, the family of the Shunites, of Ozni, the family of the Oznites, of Eri, the family of the Arites, of Arad, the family of the Aradites, of Areli, the family of the Aralites. These are the families of the children of Gad according to those that were numbered of them, 40,500. The sons of Judah were Er and Onan, 
and Er and Onan died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Judah, after their families, were of Shelah, the family of the Shelanites, of Perez, the family of the Perizzites, of Zerah, the family of the Zerahites. And the sons of Perez were of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, of Hamel, the family of the Hamulites. These are the families of Judah according to those that were numbered of them, 76,500. Of the sons of Issachar after their families, of Tola, the family of the Tolates, of Poah, the family of the Punites, of Jashub, the family of the Jashubites, of Shimron, the family of the Shimronites. These are the families of Issachar according to those that were numbered of them, 64,300. Of the sons of Zebulun, after their families, of Seard, the family of the Seredites, of Elon, the family of the Elonites, of Yaliel, the family of the Jalielites. These are the families of the Zebulonites, according to those that were numbered of them, 60,500. The sons of Joseph, after their families, were Manasseh and Ephraim. Of the sons of Manasseh, of Machir, the family of the Machirites. And Machir begot Gilead, of Gilead come the family of the Gileadites. These are the sons of Gilead, of Ezer, the family of the Ezerites, of Helic, the family of the Helicites, and of Israel, the family of the Azraelites, and of Shechem, the family of the Shechemites, and of Shemida, the family of the Shemidites, and of Hepher, the family of the Hepherites. And Zelophehad the son of Hepher had no sons, but daughters. And the names of the daughters of Zelophehad were Mala, and Noah, Hagla, Milka, and Tirzah. These are the families of Manasseh, and those that were numbered of them, 52,700. These are the sons of Ephraim after their families, of Shithala, the family of the Shuthelahites, of Becher, the family of the Becherites, of Tan, the family of the Tahanites. And these are the sons of Shithala, of Aaron, the family of the Aaronites. These are the families of the sons of Ephraim according to those that were numbered of them, 32,500. These are the sons of Joseph after their families. The sons of Benjamin after their families, of Bela, the family of the Belates, of Ashbel, the family of the Ashbelites, of Ahiram, the family of the Ahiramites, of Shufam, the family of the Shephamites, of Hufam, the family of the Huffamites. And the sons of Bela were Ard and Naaman, of Ard, the family of the Ardites, and of Naaman, the family of the Namites. These are the sons of Benjamin after their families, and they that were numbered of them were 45,600. These are the sons of Dan after their families, of Shuham, the family of the Shuhamites. These are the families of Dan after their families. All the families of the Shuhamites, according to those that were numbered of them, were 64,400. Of the children of Asher, after their families, of Imna, the family of the Imnites, of Ishvi, the family of the Ishvites, of Bariah, the family of the Bariites. Of the sons of Bariah, of Heber, the family of the Heberites, of Malkiel, the family of the Malkielites. And the name of the daughter of Asher was Sarah. These are the families of the sons of Asher according to those that were numbered of them, who were 53,400. Of the sons of Naphtali after their families, of Jaziel, the family of the Jazelites, of Guni, the family of the Gunites, of Jezer, the family of the Jezerites, of Shillam, the family of the Shillamites. These are the families of Naphtali according to their families, and they that were numbered of them were 45,400. These were the numbered of the children of Israel, 601,730. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Unto these, the land shall be divided for an inheritance, according to the number of names. To many you shall give the more inheritance, and to few you shall give the less inheritance. To every one shall his inheritance be given according to those that were numbered of him. Notwithstanding, the land shall be divided by lot, according to the names of the tribes of their fathers they shall inherit. 
According to the lot shall the possession thereof be divided, between many and few. And these are they that were numbered of the Levites after their families, of Gershon, the family of the Jershonites, of Kohath, the family of the Kohathites, of Merari, the family of the Merarites. These are the families of the Levites, the family of the Libnites, the family of the Hebronites, the family of the Malites, the family of the Mushites, the family of the Korathites. And Kohath begot Amram. And the name of Amram's wife was Jachabid, the daughter of Levi, whom her mother bore to Levi in Egypt. And she bore unto Amram Aaron and Moses, and Miriam their sister. And unto Aaron was born Nadab, and Abihu, Eliezer, and Ithamar. And Nadab and Abihu died when they offered strange fire before the Lord. And those that were numbered of them were twenty-three thousand, all males from a month old and upward, for they were not numbered among the children of Israel, because there was no inheritance given them among the children of Israel. These are they that were numbered by Moses and Eleazar the priest, who numbered the children of Israel in the plains of Moab by Jordan, near Jericho. But among these, there was not a man of them whom Moses and Aaron the priest numbered when they numbered the children of Israel in the wilderness of Sinai, for the Lord had said of them, They shall surely die in the wilderness. And there was not left a man of them, save Caleb the son of Jephunneh, and Joshua the son of Nun. Then came the daughters of Zelophehad, the son of Hepher, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, of the families of Manasseh, the son of Joseph. And these are the names of his daughters, Mala, Noah, and Hagla, and Milcah, and Tirzah. And they stood before Moses, and before Eleazar the priest, and before the princes and all the congregation, by the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, saying, Our father died in the wilderness, and he was not in the company of them that gathered themselves together against the Lord in the company of Korah, but died in his own sin, and had no sons. Why should the name of our father be done away from among his family, because he has no son? Give unto us therefore a possession among the brethren of our father. And Moses brought their cause before the Lord. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, The daughters of Zelophehad speak right. You shall surely give them a possession of an inheritance among their father's brethren, and you shall cause the inheritance of their father to pass unto them. And you shall speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a man die and have no son, then you shall cause his inheritance to pass unto his daughter. And if he has no daughter, then you shall give his inheritance unto his brethren. And if he has no brethren, then you shall give his inheritance unto his father's brethren. And if his father has no brethren, then you shall give his inheritance unto his kinsman that is next to him of his family, and he shall possess it. And it shall be unto the children of Israel a statute of judgment, as the Lord commanded Moses.